Do you want to make an iPhone app in 2025? This year is the perfect opportunity to turn that idea that's in your head into an app that you can put in your pocket. Hey, I'm Paul Soltz from Super Easy Apps, and I want to show you how you can make iPhone apps using Swift UI. So let's talk about this course that I'm launching next week. The course is all about app development. We'll be working with Xcode 16, and we're going to learn how you can create apps and then run them on your real iPhone, or you can test them in the iPhone simulator on your Mac. We'll be getting started and we'll be making apps. We will be targeting the latest technology. So this is going to be using Xcode 16, which is like Apple's development environment. It's kind of like Word, but instead of writing documents, you're making apps. And it allows you to run those apps directly on an iPhone. So we'll be learning how to do that in this course. You'll be making apps based on your own ideas, stuff that you could potentially publish on the App Store or submit to Test Flight. If you do want to publish an app or... If you want to do test flight, you will need to pay for Apple's developer license. So that's one extra thing that you will need. But you can build apps for free using just your iPhone. So you don't need a developer account unless you want to get beta testers or publish it. All right, so we're going to be covering Swift 6, which is the latest version of the Swift programming language. This language has evolved a lot. I've taught this course before, and I'm totally revamping it now for Swift UI. I wanted to take a a new approach to it. It's going to be a live interactive course. And this isn't exactly a complete beginner course. So I will not be teaching the basics of Swift programming, but we will be learning as we go and it's going to be project based. So this is going to be a great starting point if you want to get into app development and you want to have some live instruction. Join this course and you will learn the basics of Swift and you'll be dangerous. You'll learn how to learn. In this course and i think that's more important than just covering every single topic under the sun all right it will be a project-based course so we're going to be working with a json endpoint and there's actually going to be multiple endpoints that we'll be covering in the full course um, so we'll start with a weather app working on how do you connect to the web server how do you download the responses how do you get up-to-date weather information so we're going to be working on that and this is something that you could publish if you wanted to. This is something that you could share with friends and family. Now, I'm a big fan of ideas and turning ideas into apps. So this app here you're seeing is called Brew Coffee. This is an app I've been working on. I have thousands of people who have downloaded this app to play around with it. And it's just a prototype. And that's all you need to get people interested in an app idea. This started with an idea on paper and it became the app that you see on the screen. Now, I have lots of ideas that I capture in my notebook. So behind this, you'll see another app idea for a Mac app. So one of the skills that we're gonna work on in this course is turning those ideas in your head into something that you can turn into an app. And it's okay if you don't have an app idea. I have, I think, about 15 app ideas that you can steal in the course. So there's plenty of, of areas where you can focus on if you don't have a great app idea. All right, so the live kickoff for this course is gonna be January 10th. That's coming up next Friday. And if you're watching this after the fact, then the course has already launched. I may limit access to this course because I am teaching it in a live format. So if you wanna get in, you'll wanna enroll as soon as possible. I have a few different payment options. You can subscribe on a monthly basis or you can just get low lifetime access for the course. So the way this course is going to be structured, there's going to be three weeks of working through the content of the course. I will be dropping the first two sections on the 10th, and then I'll be adding more content as we go on. Um, there's going to be three weeks of content. And then on the 31st of January, we will be doing a week-long hackathon with a demo day at the end. Now, when I taught iPhone app development for Lambda School, demo day was one of the most exciting things. And actually, the hackathon week was the most exciting thing because you're taking real ideas and you're turning them into a potential product. So if you want to get started with app development, you're going to want to sign up for this course. I'm so excited to be teaching it again. Um, this might be the only time that I teach it live because I am starting a new full-time role. 
So if you want to get in while I have live office hours, sign up at the link down below. If you have any other questions, you can email me, paul at supereasyapps.com, and I look forward to seeing you in the course. Thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you later.